Hi everyone, I'm Samantha Mills, I'm here at PTVI International News, and we're here for a special edition of the International Summit. I'm here with... Anna. Anna. Hannah, and where are you from? I'm from Ukraine. Ukraine. And where are you staying right now? Right now I'm living in Poland, Krakow. Awesome. And so what made you want to participate in a school immersion experience like this one instead of just coming for a visit? I was really excited to come here to the United States and mainly to build, uh, to build international connections between different people, make international friends and uh, share my cultural experience. And how, how has it been so far? Has everything that you've expected been something wonderful? Yes, it was so excited for me to come in there. I've been to Miami and it was so nice there. Yeah. What was your favorite experience that you've had so far this week? Was Miami the top choice or did you do other fun things with your host families? I think the top choice was, was Miami, also Miami Heat game, it was so, so amazing. Also with my host family we went to the beach and uh, I wasn't swimming in the ocean, however it was amazing. That's great. Do you guys have beaches in um, Poland or did you have beaches in Ukraine? So I used to live in a city, Odessa, like uh, near the beach, exactly. So it was like five minutes from my house to go there. In Krakow, unfortunately, we do not have anything like that. So yeah. That's great. And then what would you say that so far are the similarities that you see here at our school versus your school that you're attending right now in Poland? Actually, they are completely two different schools because this, this school is huge. Oh my God, there's so many students here. Uh, but I can say that both my schools in Poland and here they're totally different but I like both of them. So, so it's funny that I always I always think that everyone says that our school are, is so big but for us our school is actually one of the smaller schools that we have um, here in America um, and I always appreciate the one-on-one -on -one conversations that we get to have with people and conversations that I get to have with you because these are once in a lifetime experiences that we get to have um, and I and it's amazing for me and I can't imagine how great it is for you um, and so I just have one other question um, what was one of the fondest memories that you had here that you can't wait to take home with you making international friends I have so many connections around the world right now like uh, made lots of students here they're from many of them from UK from Switzerland from Mexico so really cultural diverse and then you can look right in the camera for this one is there anything that you want to say back to your families at home or anyone here that are with us um, with the international exchange that you met in america i just wanted to say thank you guys for having me for such an experience and i love you guys great thank you so much it was lovely to meet you hannah thank you it was lovely to meet you too Hello, I'm Samantha Mills, I'm here with PTVI International, and we're here for a special edition of our International Summit. I am with... Karen. From... Poland. It is lovely to meet you, Karen. Nice to meet you too. So we are going to just ask a little bit of questions. So you've been here for about a, uh, a little, little bit less than a week. So you've had some experiences. You got to see within our classrooms, go to Miami. Um, what was something that you saw here that was maybe different from back home? Pretty much everything, I would say. Even the grocery stores I went to, they're really big. We don't have grocery mm -hmm. stores like that in Poland. Uh, the weather is really different. It's in Poland, it's snowing right now, for oh. example, <laughs> and here it's really hot, like right. summer weather. Also, the people are really nice here. They're, they smile a lot, so that's, that would be it, probably. That's great. And then what was something that maybe was your most favorite experience that you've had so far? So on Saturday, I went with my host family to the Panthers game, to the stadium, and it was incredible. I've never been to a hockey game before on a, such a stadium, and we actually got the first seats right in front of the eyes. That's awesome. And like my host family even got me like the puck they were playing with. So that was incredible, really. Do you guys have ice hockey in Poland? Um, we do, but it's not popular like almost at all. So and that was really different. Yeah. And do you enjoy ice hockey? Yes, I love ice skating in general. So ice skating is a hobby of yours. Yes. Uh, do you do it professionally, just for fun? Uh, just for fun. I just started like last year, so I'm not that good at it, but I really enjoy it. That's great. Um, what has been one of the most interesting classes or experiences that you've had here at our school so far? 
Um, so I think the summit in general and the classes also because I really wanted to see what like American schools look like, whether it's like in the movies or no. Turns out it is. <laughs> yeah, I was really surprised, but it's really fun. Um, and the summit in general, like preparing. Right now we're doing the exposition okay. and it was really fun. Yeah. Your showcase today was beautiful. I loved it. It was amazing. Thank you. What did you guys do to prepare? How did you decide what you wanted to do? So we had like a few meetings before. We were discussing different ideas for what we want to do. And we just decided that it's going to be different, like showing our day, not just a dance or something like that. So that was it. And then we had to record the video. So that took a lot of work uh, and going to different places. But it was also really fun. And then we just had like a few meetings to practice what we're going to do on stage. And then we prefer, like, performed in front of one class in our school. And they liked it, so that was it. That's great. That's wonderful. I know all of us did enjoy it at our school as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> and then what was something, what made you want to come and participate in the International Summit? So I really wanted to see what life as a teenager looks like here. What, like, as I said, whether it's like in the movies or not. And I wanted to like, experience going to school and meet new people from like U.S. and international. And so far, has everything that you thought of, has it come true? Has it happened? Yes, it's been great. That's wonderful. And then is there anything that you'd like to say back to uh, your families at home or maybe your host families here? So to my family back at home, like thank you for allowing me to come here and thank you for supporting me. And to my host family, it's been great. I've had so much fun and thank you for everything. Great. It was lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you, Have too. a wonderful rest of your thank week. Thank you. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Samantha Mills. I'm here with PTVI Television International, and he we're here for the International Summit. I'm here with... My name is Jimena, and I, and I am from Mexico. It was it's so amazing to meet you. Thank Very you. exciting. So uh, we'll first start off with the first question. So today we had the Cultural Expo, and you performed today. What did you guys do for Mexico's Cultural Expo? Well, first, two, two of my friends uh, did a traditional dance from our state. Is at uh, the south of Mexico, of my country, and the name of the state is Yucatan. The capital is, is Merida. That's the, the state we are from. And for my part, and two other Mexican friends, we uh, did this type of makeup that is very traditional from Day of the Dead. The name in the indigenous language of our state is Hanal Pichan. It's a Mayan word. And yeah, we. Uh, did uh, like a type of legend, a spooky story that is very, very traditional in Mexico. It was wonderful. It was beautiful. I know everyone appreciated it. Uh, everyone looked amazing, and it was really informative. I really liked it. Um, so you obviously came here for the International Summit. What was your reasoning? Why did you want to come participate in a cultural immersion experience like this? Well, it was very impressive for me to have this opportunity because um, I really wanted to experience all the, uh, the American uh, school and, of course, the daily life they have. And usually I'm very, very um, excited to see how the education is here because it's pretty different from Mexico. When, I mean, we are neighbors, but it's pretty different, to be honest. Yeah. What are some of the differences that you see between our education systems? Well, um, for example, the, um, the teachers, they came to the, to the classrooms. Mm -hmm. We don't need to move at all. Okay. And also the, the schedules are very different. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, pre it's pretty, pretty amazing, to be honest. That's great. And then, so what have some, been some of the fun experiences that you've gotten to have this week with your host family, maybe with some of the events that we had through the school? Well, of course, the Miami Heat was so amazing. <laughs> I really like basketball. And well, me, my, with my host family, uh, we went to uh, some farms that are very popular here, mm -hmm. I think, in Florida. We were to pick some strawberries, to see some animals like goats and some beautiful birds. It was amazing. And also we went to um, have, have dinner in some uh, traditional restaurants, and it was pretty good. Yeah. So overall, what did you hope to and what did you so far gain from this experience? Well, of course, I want to make new friends, like international friends, and this is one of the most exciting part I was looking for, and to ha to see how the education is here, and of course, um, 
uh, express how my culture is mm -hmm. and show to, to the world, of course, the, the countries that, I, that are here, um, some traditions, Mexican traditions that we have, and how diverse we are. That's wonderful. And then would you like to say anything to anyone back home or anything to your host family? Yeah, um, thank you so much for having me here and for, of course to have my country invited and thank you for my family and for my host, thank you so much because they, they were so, so good, so nice people and thank you so much everyone. Great, thank you so much. It was lovely to meet you, Jimena. Hi everyone, I'm Samantha Mills. I'm here with PTVI Television International and we're here with Quiva. And where are you from, Quiva? I'm from Ireland. Of Ireland. It's lovely. Awesome. Um, so you obviously decided to come to America to participate in the International Summit. What made you want to do that versus maybe coming just for a visit? Yeah, well, in fourth year, this is a different year in school. So it's the same year as sophomore year. So in Ireland this year, you get to try out loads of new experiences. So I thought this would be a really nice experience for me to go on to and show um, the USA like what Ireland is and bring over our culture. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm a little bit, I'm like 46% Irish. So oh, yeah. <laughs> I've appreciated all of the fun things that you guys did and all you had. Um, I love the cultural um, presentation that you guys had. What went into preparing that? How did you guys go about choosing what you wanted to showcase? Um, so we all had different specialties with the eight girls that came over. So me um, and my friend Leila, we do Irish dancing together. So we definitely wanted to show the school Irish dancing. We also have many Irish sports that the girls play. Um, so we also wanted to show them. That's well. great. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then maybe what about, what have you noticed here that is a little bit different than back home in Ireland? Um, in this school, um, it's much bigger than our <laughs> school at home. And we also are an all-girls school, which is okay. very unique to our school. So it's mixed, obviously, here. And we also have to wear a uniform. So we wear a kilt and our jumper, which has our crest on it. Beautiful. Yeah. Does the, do you like the uniform? Or, I assume it would make it a little bit easier to decide what to wear in the morning. Yeah, I don't mind my uniform. Um, it's okay. Here it was kind of difficult to wear because it was very hot here. <laughs> at home it's okay to wear. Yeah. Is it cold right now in Ireland? Yeah, it's very cold. Snowing yeah. cold? It was snowing a few weeks ago, oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> very fun. Yeah. And then maybe what about, what was one of the favorite experiences that you've had so far, maybe with your host families and then also with some of the trips that we had? Um, just meeting a lot of new people. All the students here are so welcoming, which is really nice. They really love to like learn about Ireland, mm -hmm. which is really nice. And I also loved, we went to the fair yesterday, so yes. it was really nice to spend time with all the new friends I've made. That's great, yeah. lovely. And then do you want to say anything back back to someone back home, your family, your friends here? Um, I really want to thank my host family. They made this experience so much better for me. So yeah. That's thank wonderful. So it was lovely to meet you. Thank you, you too. Of course. Hi, I'm Samantha Mills. I'm here with PTVI Television International, and we're here with... Simon from Slovakia. It's lovely to meet you, Simon. So you're joining us with our International Summit this week. What made you want to participate in this cultural immersion experience that we so, have? This experience is unique in a way that not many are, just because like coming to America just uh, for a couple of days to try out the school system, that would be great, but you wouldn't see all the other cultures that are actually attending this summit. So the opportunity is amazing. Definitely. I like that you mentioned that because definitely you not only getting to see the way that we have here school at America, but also learning from all of these other countries as well makes, it, makes this experience so much different. Exactly. What was something that you participated in this week, maybe with your host families mm -hmm. or even with some of the events that we had planned at the school that you've enjoyed? So something that we did with our host family that was actually really nice was going on their boat through the inter intercoastals. It was like a, it's a completely different z climate zone, completely different society than we have in Slovakia. So it was very interesting to just take a look at that. A lot of people went on boats. I know um, someone from, Lizzie from Ireland also mm -hmm. went on a boat and then I took my uh, student Dominic on a boat and it was a lot of fun. She went uh, kneeboarding 
and she like went on the back of it and I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, it's definitely, that's a Florida thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Exactly, it, was, it was amazing. Wonderful. And so uh, you mentioned the, the differences in the climate and the environment. What's maybe um, some other differences that you've noticed? So I was expecting, coming to like southern Florida, I was expecting it to be, uh, the pace of life to be quite slow. But it is actually faster than we, usually in Europe, but also in like Slovakia, uh, life goes very fast here. And that, uh, that was unexpected, <laughs> but not in, a, not in a bad way. Right. And, and definitely this week has been a little bit more packed because we're trying to get you to experience all of these things. But I would say life does go kind of fast. When you think of South Florida, sometimes we think of Naples, Florida, mm -hmm. because we have a lot of elderly people that like to live in Naples. So that, that part of Florida may move a little bit slower. But definitely in South Florida, we're fast paced and we're moving. Um, but what has, um, what did you expect to gain out of uh, the experience? And then what have you noticed now that you have gained? So I was expecting uh, to gain many international connections from this experience, and which I did. Uh, it has been amazing just to like mingle around with all the different cultures and also with like the US students because all of them are extremely nice. They're so welcoming. Uh, and what, what I have gained is basically what I wanted to gain. I just wanted to like make a lot of new connections and connect with different cultures, and I did both. That's great. Do you want to share um, maybe a little bit about Slovakia, your culture, your ways of life? Well, it's it's like a typical Slavic country. It's, uh, what can I like really say? Um, well, we're known for our mountains. They are re really nice. Um, and like life here, life there is quite, it's similar to the mm -hmm. U.S., just like because European culture and mm -hmm. U.S. culture are quite similar, but it is different in that, uh, it's, um, in Europe, all the countries are smaller, so you basically have to travel a lot more. Here, you can basically, like, uh, make up an entire week's worth or even a month's <laughs> worth of activities just without moving from the same state, and that's right. very unusual for us. <laughs> that is true, that is true. All right, is there anything, you can look at the camera for this one, that you'd like to say to anyone back home or so, your host families? So, to my family, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for, like, make, making it possible for me to be here, even. Uh, because it has been an amazing experience, and I, uh, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing that I would, that I have managed to take part in. And to my host family, thank you so much for your generosity, just because you made the experience so much better uh, than uh, it would be if, if I was with like a very, like a. I don't know how to put this. <laughs> you just made the made the at least the first two days, especially the first two days, you made them so much better. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. It was lovely meeting you today. It was lovely meeting you too. Hello, my name is Samantha Mills. I'm here with PTVI Television International. And today we're here live documenting the International Summit. I'm here with Nathan from the UK. It's lovely to meet you, Nathan. Lovely to meet you, too. So obviously, you came here because you wanted to participate in a cultural immersion experience. Why did you want to come and participate? I thought it would be an amazing chance to meet new people. And also, I think it would be great to show off some leadership skills and express what the UK means to us and what basically our home is. Right. Do you want to share with um, me and even other people uh, that will be watching it a little bit about the UK and why? You like it. I mean, the UK is just a big cultural melting pot, right? It, there are so many cultures mixed, into, mixed together. You get like amazing artists, amazing music artists, stuff like that. And it's just a pleasure to be with people from the UK, and it's amazing. That's yeah. great. And so um, when you came here, what did maybe you expect life to be like versus maybe how it was? Well, I kind of thought it would also go a bit fast. <laughs> so. It's nice to see that it is going relatively quick. Um, what else? I think that um, everyone here is really nice. I thought that everyone would be kind of tough on the <laughs> UK people because of uh, problems like that. But everyone so far has been really nice. That's yeah. wonderful. Um, and then, so maybe what has been some of the experiences that you've got to participate in this week with your families and then also here that maybe you've really enjoyed? I think the super blue is ni the super blue is really nice. I like the art installations. But with the with my host family, um, they took me and a friend from the UK kayaking, 
it was really cool. We got to see some alligators, got to do some kayaking over the Loxahatchee River, and it was very cool. That's so awesome. Yeah. Were you kayaking with alligators? There were alligators around oh. us. It was very <laughs> scary. I, the back of my kayak was going down. So it was, <laughs> well, yeah. we made it out alive. Yeah, we're all yeah, here. Yeah. We're all going to get back safe home. That's great. <laughs> um, and then maybe what is some of the things that you've noticed that are different from the UK than here in America? Well, in the UK, I guess everyone's a bit more slow, I guess. Also, food portions here are <laughs> much larger than the UK. So yeah, that's, that was a big cultural shock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, did you get to try maybe a different food that you guys don't have oh, there? Oh yeah, of course. Um, a lot of fast food restaurants here, like Chick-fil-A and stuff, <laughs> we don't really have them in the UK. Stuff like Popeye's, Chick-fil-A. We tr I tried Chick-fil-A, it was pretty good. It was pretty yeah. good? Owned up to, to your standards or? It I mean, I took some from my other friend who was eating it. I was eating Wendy's Oh, mostly. so <laughs> it was good, it was good. <laughs> Is there anything that you wanna say back to everyone at home or to your host family? Yeah, um, for my own family, for, ex uh, for example, thank you so much for letting me come on this uh, amazing trip. And for the host family, thank, Thank you so much for letting me stay at your house and bothering you guys. Um, <laughs> your food is amazing. And so thank you guys so much. Everyone, thank you so much. Great. It was lovely to meet you. You too. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Hi, I'm Samantha Mills. I'm here with PTVI Television International, and we're here with Nayantara from Nepal. It's lovely to meet you. You're here joining us for the International Summit this week. What made you want to participate in the summit? Uh, well, the main reason I wanted to participate was actually because of the exposure it gives us, you know, the exposure to experience new cultures, new ways of life, new traditions, new food, the way people do things differently from us, everything. What are some of the similarities and differences that you did notice while you were here? In America mm -hmm. or the schools? In America, the school, any and everything. All right, so differences, there are a lot. So America, we were told, is a fast-moving country, mm -hmm. and it is a fast-moving <laughs> country. Uh, it is a very big country compared to our country. So everything that you want is kind of like in stores or in a state, which is really shocking. Mm -hmm. uh, for these similarities, um, I cannot really name any okay. right now. The school system is also very different, like the whole curriculum is different. Things we do in math, for example, we do at a lower grade that, you know, people here do at a higher grade like calculus, but then there are other things that, you know, it's really different. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to share with us a little bit about um, Nepal and how life is there, with maybe within your school or just family and daily life? Uh, yes, so Nepal is actually very rich in culture. So uh, although that does not prohibit us from, you know, doing certain things or there, there is no discrimination, but uh, culture plays a major role in our life. So all the architecture is made up based off of our culture. Um, and yeah, people are very welcoming there. It is the same in America. Yeah. Awesome. What was one of the events that you participated in this week that you found interesting, maybe with your host families or even with um, some of the events that we had planned? Uh, well, when we visited the Wynwood Art District yeah. in Miami, I found that really interesting. Like the way arts, you know, it spanned across multiple buildings right. and we got to see it all through the bus ride. It was really exciting. It was really unique and fun because it's, you know, very unique to Miami itself. Uh, also, we went boating with my host family, oh, really? so <laughs> that was really interesting. I got to see how people in America decorate their backyards more than their front yards, because in Nepal, we actually decorate our front yards, and we don't really have backyards. Oh, that's very interesting. Is there um, like a reason for that that you know of, maybe, or is it just something that's always been like that? Yeah, just something that's always been like that. That's great. And then you can, I assume, it then allows um, everyone else to see and to show off your front yards. So that yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, is there anything that you'd like to say to anyone back home? I know you said that you traveled with your twin brother as well, yeah. um, maybe, so he can see it as well. Um, if you want to just let everyone know a little bit of a message. 
Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to thank my family and my school for letting me come here to represent not just my country, but also my school and, you know, myself, because it really helped me develop various interpersonal and intrapersonal social skills. Also, um, hi to my brother and, you know, everybody watching me. And finally, I'd like to really thank my host family because I'd say they played a major role in making me feel comfortable in America because it's a new experience for most of us. It's a new experience for me. It's my first time here in America and they really made me feel like home. So I'm really grateful for that. That's wonderful. I'm really glad that it was an amazing experience for you and it was lovely to meet you. It was lovely to meet you too. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. All right. Hello, I'm Samantha Mills here with PTVI Television International, and I'm here with... Anne-Marie from Inazumi High School in Taiwan. Great, it's lovely to meet you. So, you're here with us for the International Summit this year. What made you want to come and participate in this immersion experience? So, before this trip, I already really obsessed with the culture from America and also the music here. And I know a couple of like pop songs here, and I really love them. So, what is some of the pop American music that you like? Um, um, I really like the artist called The Weeknd. I really <laughs> love his music. Yeah, that's great. He's also I heard very popular in Germany. Mm -hmm. So he's a big artist. Did you mm -hmm. have, have you ever get in, got to see him in concert? No, they. Um, I, I believe he didn't haven't haven't had the concert Sorry. in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. oh. So uh, you have gotten to be with us a little bit this week. What was some of the experiences that you've had that you enjoyed with your families or even with the, some of the events that we had planned here? So we have the chance to go to um, Miami to mm -hmm. see the, the games. And um, actually, I'm not a basketball person, but my dad really is. So I'm here for him <laughs> to like, kind of to experience the um, culture, the vibe, the atmosphere here, and I really love it. Did you get to get him any souvenirs from the Heat game? Yeah, and I got him a t-shirt and also a cap as well. <gasps> That's mm -hmm. great! I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the differences that you've noticed here from your home back in Taiwan? Um, so, I, I would like to talk about the um, school culture here. Mm -hmm. So, in Taiwan, we're, uh, most people in Taiwan are more like um, reserved, but here people are more friendly and open and talkative. And I really feel the warm here. And yeah, and uh, about the school schedule, um, mm -hmm. um, um, in, in Taiwan, we have to, um, to go to school from like um, seven to five there and Monday to Friday. So oh. yeah, but. I, I think, um, and also the teachers here are more uh, focused on students, their personalities, and they will um, give students really um, huge space to let them show up, let them have um, creativity show up. Yeah. Great, that's wonderful. And then what, maybe what are, what's a little bit about Taiwan that you could share with us? Um, so Taiwan is a tropical um, country, so the weather there, I, I expect the Florida weather are more like <laughs> like Taiwan there, but actually Taiwan right now is like um, 46 Fahrenheit, yeah. So it's kind of freezing cold there, <laughs> but here we're it's, fine. It's <laughs> warm, it's warm, and, it, and it's kind of cool actually. Mm -hmm. The weather is a little bit cooler than it's like in the summer. So yeah. I feel like you guys are here at a great time, and yeah. of course we are, we're ready to have you anytime because it's been so amazing. But um, is there anything that you'd like to say back to your family or friends, um, maybe at home or your host family here as well? You can go ahead and look at the camera for that. So t um, to my family, I really appreciate you gave, gave me this opportunity to go to the state to experience the culture here and also have chance to um, um, exchange culture with um, students around the world and also to Arthur. I know mm -hmm. um, yesterday was your birthday, so happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. It was so lovely to meet you. Yeah. And I hope you have a, an amazing rest of your week. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Hello, I'm Samantha Mills. I'm here with PTVI Television International, and we're here with... I'm Bruce. I'm from Huiden High School, Taiwan. Awesome. It's so lovely to have you here. So what have, why did you decide to join us for the International Summit? Mm, because I want to leave the circumstance. Mm, many people speak 
Mandarin. Yeah, and I hope I can grow up in Florida. Yeah. Really? Yes. So you've enjoyed your experiences here that you've had so far? Mm, I meet many people in Florida, although my English is not good. <laughs> yeah, but they care me a lot. Yeah. That's great. Mm. What have you enjoyed most about the experience here? Mm, the Miami, Miami? Uh, yeah, Miami basketball game is very <laughs> fascinating to me. Yeah, and the food here is so different, and I think I'll after the summit I'll gain weight. <laughs> but but I still love the food here. Yeah. What did you get to try? What were some of the fun foods that you had? Mm, maybe some uh, ice cream, ice hamburger. Cream. Yeah. Ice cream and hamburgers. Yes. Definitely good American staples. <laughs> yeah. What are some of maybe the differences that you notice here from in Taiwan, maybe within the school or just daily life? Mm, in Taiwan, we have a mm, tight schedule. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, in my school, we have to get up in 7 a.m. and end up in 10.30 p.m. So uh, in America, we uh, in this place, we have no Friday, yeah, Friday mm -hmm. um, class. So mm -hmm. this, is, this is so free to me, yeah. What do you like to do in your free time that you have? Free time? <laughs> um, I play some uh, basketball or um, the other sports in my free time. That's yeah. great. Mm. So sports are a big thing for you? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So the, and then again, I guess the basketball game was definitely a lot of fun because yes. you got to see that. That's mm. awesome. That's amazing. And then is there maybe some differences within the way of life outside of school? Um, do you have um, a lot of free time? Do you not have free time? Mm, I have a lot of free time in weekend. On the weekends. And I usually go hiking, yeah. Mm, I want to go hike in the USA, but there's no mountain in <laughs> Florida. There's no mountains. Uh, I made the joke that the one mountain that we do have is, is Trash Mountain. Uh, it's a big mountain just made of trash, <laughs> and mm. that's about the only mountain we have here. Uh. But um, in the, like North Carolina or different places like that, we have mountains, and, and the views are just beautiful. Mm. I'm sure they don't compare to anything like in Taiwan, but um, I definitely think that they're pretty cool. Mm. All right, and then is there anything that you uh, that was that you got to? How did you choose to prepare what you wanted to do for the showcase that you guys did? Showcase. Mm. First, uh, we do a lot of practice for um, singing and uh, playing. Instrument, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, when we go on stage, we really nervous, <laughs> yeah. But mm, everything is okay after the mm, performance, right. yes. Mm. That's great. It was beautiful. I know everyone loved your guys' performance. Everyone loved everyone's performances. They were beautiful. They were amazing. Um, well, is there anything that you want to say to your host families or your family back home? Mm, to my family, I really thank you for you give me give me a experience to uh, learn in Florida. Yeah, and I also thank my classmates who support me to Florida because my English is really bad. Yeah, and to my host family, mm, I thank you. You give a uh, comfortable comfortable environment to uh, let me <laughs> let me stay your home yeah really thank you great that's yeah. wonderful it was great to meet you yeah me too have a wonderful week mm. Hi, I'm Samantha Mills I'm here with PTVI television international news and I'm here with Maria and Maria, where are you from? From Switzerland. It's lovely to have you here. Yes. You're here with us for the International Summit this mm -hmm. week. Uh, what did you expect? What did you hope to gain from this experience yes. here? 
I just like hope to see new people and learn about the different cultures, of course, and just to see how the system is here, also how the city is, how the US is. Yes. What are some of the things that you've noticed that are maybe different here than in Switzerland? So it's definitely warmer than <laughs> in Switzerland. Like when I went off Switzerland, it was very cold. It actually also snowed <laughs> and it's like the minus Celsius. So it was here pretty warm. Yes. Also very humid. humid. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Your hair likes to get frizzy. Mine likes to get frizzy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Um, what are some of maybe some things that you can share with us about Switzerland? Mm -hmm. So Switzerland is a nice place to visit because of the nature and stuff. Um, also the mountains, it's pretty cool to hike up and just like when you reach your des how do you say that? Destination. Destination. You like are very proud of yourself. So <laughs> if you love, if you like hiking, you should definitely visit. Switzerland, yes. Hey, okay. I'll go to Switzerland, but I don't know if I want to hike on some mountains, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of other things yes. as well, right? Yes. Um, and then what are some of the experiences that you've had here that maybe you've done with your host family, some of the events that we planned with the yes. school? Yes. So with my host family, I went to um, the beach mm -hmm. uh, twice, I think. And also we went like on restaurants, we ate there. Yeah, seafood also, seafood. <laughs> it's my favorite. So I was very glad that I had the chance to eat there. Do they have a lot of seafood in Switzerland? No, actually I live in a town, okay. so there's not many restaurants mm -hmm. and stuff. So this was my chance, so I took it. That's great. <laughs> yes. Did you get to try any other fun things, other fun foods? Mm. Also mac and cheese, I never tried that. <laughs> so it was good to me, it was fine to me. Mac and cheese is, is a staple, definitely. It is very heavy, indeed, <laughs> but yeah. That's great. And then is there anything that you'd like to share back to your families at home or to your host families? Yes, so to my host family, you are very, very lovely, kind people. They're the most kind people. <laughs> thank you so, so much. And also to my family, thank you for managing this trip. It was not easy. Also to my teacher helping me with the visa process. Thank you so much. Yes. That's wonderful. It was great meeting you. Nice to meet you too. I hope you have a wonderful rest yes. of your week. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm Samantha Mills and I'm here with PTVI Television International and I'm here with... Dominic from the Statische Gesamtschule from Aminken and I'm from Germany. That's great. It's lovely to have you here, Dominic, for this week. What made you want to come and participate in the International Summit? It's uh, different uh, countries and experiences we have here because with different people from countries, they have so much fun. And yeah, I think the Americans are so open and it's so cool. What was some of the experiences that you got to have this week uh, with the school or some of the events that you had? I think the Miami Heat game. I'm a so big basketball and NBA fan <laughs> and it was a wish to uh, go to an NBA game. Do you guys get to watch uh, basketball in, in Germany? Do yeah. you play basketball? Yeah, I play basketball in Germany and I watch a game in Düsseldorf from the Harlem Globetrotters. It's a team oh, from uh, yes. <laughs> America. It's uh, like a fun, fun show from uh, this team. Awesome. Do you want to share uh, maybe a little bit about Germany, um, some of the cultural experiences, maybe a little bit about your school? I think everyone uh, think about the beer <laughs> in Germany. <laughs> we have five to six thousand types of beer here and yeah, I think Germany is so cool. It's a grateful landscape and yeah. What are some differences that you've noticed maybe between your schools? Your schools? Um, I think the people. The people are so open and familiar to us and yeah, our school is so uh, not tall. Yeah, the Pompeii Reach Court is tall and our school is so tiny. I think, yeah, it's just so cool. And what was um, something that you got out of the experience that you expected to get when you came? I think uh, the people were not so familiar. I think <laughs> the people were mean, but uh, it's the difference. 
I think the people here are so cool. That's great. And then is there anything that you want to say to your host family or to your family back at home? Yeah, to my family at home, uh, thank you for this experience and for your host family, your parents and you. <laughs> uh, thank you for the uh, very, very nice time and I love you all. And for you, Sam, thank you for the best time of my life. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.